YouTube Arbiter G Vadim here or KG5 IWQ. Today I'm gonna try gallium fuel cell. Uh, for those of you don't that don't know what a gallium fuel cell is, basically there is an alloy on the periodic table called gallium. Get that open. All right, this is gallium, and at room temperature, it's a liquid. Okay, so it's a little bit colder today, so I had to boil some water, but uh, to heat it up. But anyways, so gallium is on the periodic table. I'm not too sure what it's next to though. Um, but anyways. You take this to an airport, and you will get um, arrested by TSA instantly. Um, why? Well, gallium alloys with aluminum, which is that. This is pure aluminum from a aluminum bar. Um, but anyways, al uh, gallium alloys with aluminum, and basically, if I was to throw some aluminum in there, it would just dissolve the aluminum, and they would be no different, it'd still be liquid, so it kind of explains why they're so angry. You bring gallium onto an airplane, uh, one drop of it hits the fuselage, and you can have a catastrophic um, fuselage breach, and with all the pre pressure differences at that altitude, it wouldn't be good. But anyways, um, other than that, mixing um, aluminum and gallium together, basically, provides you with something really cool. On the periodic table, um, aluminum is supposed to be very, very reactive. Um, very reactive. The reason it's not is because it has an oxidizing layer that keeps it pretty much safe. Um, you just throw aluminum in water and it's not going to do anything. But anyways, the gallium basically takes away that oxidizing layer and when you mix the two together, which is in there, there's gallium in there when you mix aluminum and gallium together it, like I said, makes a liquid metal and you're left with just a liquid silvery metal uh, of the alloy of aluminum and gallium now, if you add hydrogen um, hydrogen and oxygen, aka water you are actually making a big time reaction creating hydrogen. So in a second here, I'm going to pour some water into this test tube and I'm going to light the top on fire and the fire you see, or at least you should see, um, will be hydrogen burning. So my future plans for this, if I can get enough of it dissolved, I'm still working out experiments on how to, how much alloy I need to make of it. But once I get an actual sustainable fire from it, I'll throw in one of these little steam engines. So, probably that one over there, because it's a smaller one. But anyway, I'll throw it in a steam engine, and hopefully I can use the hydrogen burning to heat the boiler and um, spin the wheel. So, once again, it's just a basic steam engine. But So, I'm going to light this in a few seconds. And we will see... Well, I have to put water in it. What I'm going to do... Take my little eyedropper here. Let's turn the flames off. Alright, let's get some water. Oh, no, get some hot water, I guess. Yeah, because you can't, can't put cold water in there. Alrighty. So I am also going to have some fire ready so I can instantly light it. Okay. Here we go. You're lighting? Interesting. Let's 
take some more water. It lit again. Probably gonna need a little bit more. So as you can see, it is actually burning off of the fire. Here, use a lighter instead. Ooh, we got a little flame there. So that is actually creating hydrogen and burning, which is really cool. A little more. That very dim orange, that's actually hydrogen burning. And then the other one's the butane. Oh, we were actually getting a really good ignition there. And this will continue to burn or bubble for a little while. Yeah, now we're kind of just running out of uh, kinetic energy. Ooh, there we go. See the flames start to grow. I think if you put a lot of water in there, we'll be good. Oh yeah, that's that's hydrogen right there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we had a steady flame there. Oh shoot! Yeah, we had a steady flame. Oh, very. Look at that. That is cool. But anyways, that's uh, that's what gallium does. Is it a valuable energy source for their big energy crisis as of right now? Um, it could be. I, I definitely think it could be. Uh, the cool thing about gallium is when you burn hydrogen off, you're getting water. Um, or water molecules, so basically just humidity. But if we look closely in here, I don't know how far the reaction is. The bottom, get in the light, I don't know, um, but there is actually gallium down there, so the only thing you have to replenish in the long run is aluminum, um, but it's got very good mileage, I guess, because I mean it's still bubbling, and I could still be getting a flame off there if I wanted to, and my hand just got tired, but anyways, um, so that's what I'm thinking of this one. Now, my other uh, thought is when I do the steam engine, I'm going to have to 
use butane or propane to initially warm the boiler. And then once I get the boiler warm and the engine idle, switch it over to gallium. And uh, that should give me my what I want. Obviously, when I do it, this test tube's not going to suffice. I'm going to need a beaker, maybe even something bigger. So, but that's my plans for it. Hopefully we can get it working, but I will uh, record that next time. So, this is KG5IWQ, signing off 73.